In this problem, we want to determine the value of shear stress at a certain point, which is located um, 65 millimeter below the surface of the beam. The basic equation that I need to use here is shear stress is equal to VQ over IT. And I need to determine each of these four parameters one by one. The first one, I want to determine the value of shear force. It is a cantilever beam, which is subjected to a concentrated load at the very right end. The value of shear force would be constant everywhere, and that would be simply equal to P everywhere. So this diagram shows the value of shear force. E would be equal to P, which as given in the problem in statement, it's 8 kilonewton, which is equal to 8,000 newton. Okay, so that's the shear force. <clears throat> the second parameter that I want to determine here is moment of inertia. Moment of inertia for this section, which is a rectangular section, is calculated by bh cubed over 12. The base of this rectangle is 120 millimeter, and height of this uh, rectangle is 280. And I can simply determine how much is the value of moment of inertia for this beam, which is equal to 219.5 times 10 to the fix millimeter to the fourth. Okay, the next parameter that I want to determine is Q, the first moment of area. Q depends on what is the point of interest that I have. The equation for Q is A times D. So I need to determine what is the area that I need to determine Q for. So I'm drawing this section again. This is the section that I have. This is the line passing through the axis of this rectangle. The location, the point that I'm interested in determining the value of shear stress is located 65 millimeter below the top of this beam. So I need to determine the Q for this hatched area. What do I need to determine here is simply area of this hatched and distance of its centroid to the centroid of the entire section. Area is simply 65 times 120. E, or distance of centroid of this subsection to the centroid of the entire section can be calculated in this way. This is the centroid of the section and it is at the middle of that subsection. <clears throat> so the distance of this centroid to the top is 65 over 2. So the distance of this centroid to the centroid of entire section would be 140 minus 65 over 2. That is what I call it D. And I said 140 because that is the half of the height of the section. Now I'm ready to go and calculate the value of Q for this problem. I just plug the values of A and D here. A is 65 by times 65 times 120 and D is 140 minus 65 over 2 and the final answer for Q is 838.5 times 10 to the third millimeter cubed. Okay, the last parameter that I need to determine here is T or thickness. Thickness here is the thickness of cut section. So if I get back to the rectangle that I have here, um, the cut section here has the thickness of 120 millimeter. This is, let me um, redo that again here. I'm using a blue color. The dashed line here shows the cut section, which the thickness is clearly 120 millimeter. So thickness is 120, and I am ready to go and plug the values into shear stress equation. Now, the value of shear stress is calculated in this way. 8,000 Newton, which is V, times Q, which is 838.5, 10 to the third. 
divided by i t and i is 219.5 times 10 to the sixth. The thickness is 120 millimeter. That gives me the value of shear stress at that point. This point equal to two, equal to 0.255 newton hour squared millimeter, which is equal to megapascal. Okay, and that's the final answer of this problem.